Hey everyone, John here, and today I'm gonna do a big old unboxing that unfortunately, you know, like customs seems to have already done. Um, I'm gonna do this a little off the cuff just because I am really, really exhausted from just coming home from work and also I've just been a little sick. I've had to do a lot of real life stuff and yeah, I've just. It's just been really hard for me to like kind of focus on doll stuff lately, but you know. I'm always excited to get more stuff from people, you know what I mean? Like, and I think I know uh, what's basically in here, but you know, again, <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks thanks to Raised by Direwolves for this, I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not, uh, just because this has taken me like three times to, um, you know, like film an intro for it, but I'm just going in, I'm just going straight in, so. <sighs> okay, so I'm told to open up this one last because you know it's yellow um yeah Ugh. so yeah um that's the thing though uh it's just again it's just it's really hard for me to do videos just because i get really really self-conscious and i also have really high perfectionisms <laughs> you wouldn't know that from like how scrappy everything is but you know <laughs> but you know, it's just like I tend to like not do anything at all. But you know, I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to get through this, you know, thing. So lovely American air, thank you. <laughs> no, I kid, I kid. Um, yeah. So yeah, everything's a little jumbled up here. But okay, here is my Disney store Mirabelle. So. And, yeah, like, I'm not quite the biggest fan of her face, but, um, I did buy the Jack Specific, um, Mirabelle, so, you know. And, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, so. I'm just putting that there. Um, here's Luisa from Encanto as well, so, you know. Yeah. Now <laughs> uh, this one's really big and heavy, so. But I'm very, I'm happy with that. I just, I wonder what kind of hip joint, because I heard that like it gets kind of stuck, so I'm not sure if I can do something to loosen that up. But, you know. But I'm very glad it is very, very movie accurate in terms of like body scale <laughs> and proportions. So you know. Yeah. See, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to repaint Louisa because I actually do think her face paint is actually the nicest one out of <laughs> out of the Disney store dolls, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, just let her just drunkenly sit there for a bit. Um, yeah. Oop. So, okay. Oh, okay. I think. Okay, um, I think this is some accessories for other parts, um, I think that's uh, Mirabelle's accordion, a Lilo and Stitch record player, and like a leaf, so, you know, <laughs> again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep digging through this, so. so, yeah, again, again, like, I don't have much of a feel, like, you know, like, I don't have much of a camera presence with people, and, you know, I'm, it's very hard for me to... To like emote and everything. Like I do, I do kind of despair at like how everything's kind of moving towards video, media and stuff instead of like writing. Because I tend to thrive much better when it's just words. But you know, um, two Happy Meal like puppets of Hunchback of Notre Dame. So you know, that's very interesting. Um, put that there. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> um, I got a Spider Verse, uh, Gwen Stacy in a bag. I wasn't expecting this, and you know, I'm not sure what I can do with that, but you know, um, I got a Hasbro Cassandra missing an arm and a foot, so you know, again, I'm not sure what I can do with that, but you know. You know what I mean, right? 
Um, and here's my Disney store, Isabella. So, you know. And I have many opinions about um, Encanto. Like, I do think it's one of Disney's better films since, you know, they've just been kind of churning out, like, sequels and, like, <laughs> kind of mediocre films, I find. Um, but I did like Encanto. Um, don't get me wrong about that. Like, I did like it. Um, but yeah. Um, a fashion Easter um, head. The one. The one that I say has like a very kind of Grecian nose, so you know. <laughs> Again, <laughs> uh, um, put that there. Okay. Two Lilo and Stitch. Oh wait, sorry. I mean two Lilo, like two Lilo dolls from Lilo and Stitch. Um, I did. Uh, I am going to customize one uh, for Raised by Die Wolves, um, as a thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For all of these gifts, but uh, yeah, um, Antonio, if that's his name, I'm very sorry if I can't remember it properly, but yeah, um, yeah, just making sure that all the joints work. Um, the whole thing with um, like, uh, with like injection, like vinyl injection molded plastic, like when they're like injected onto joints, like not um. It, it gets kind of stuck, so you need to, like, work it out before you can, like, f like you know, like, mindlessly move them. So, yeah. So. <laughs> so, of course, like, Disney Store always goes really well with, um, <laughs> goes all out with the quality of the dolls, so I'm always happy to get that. Um, here is, uh, ah. Marvel Rising, like American Chavez, Chavez doll, sorry if I'm like totally butchering that, but, you know, <laughs> and yeah, um, so, here's a, here is a dress, um, I think, I think it needs a lot of repairs to it, um, but you know, Here's the dress. Um, here's some more Lilo and Stitch accessories and items, I guess. <laughs> and uh, a fashionista's doll. Um, I. I have mixed feelings about fashionistas, just because they're getting way more expensive for what you're getting, especially since you kind of risk the dolls having like poor quality hair and also, um, also really low quality paint jobs, so I tend to avoid buying fashionistas, but it is always a surprise whenever someone sends me one, so you know. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, American Chavez is clothes? Question mark? You know. Um, oh, okay, here's the lion from the Encanto set, I mean, not lion, uh, leopard, um, I think it's, it's, like, it's very solid vinyl, like, I'm very surprised about that, it's going to be, like, hollow plastic, so, you know, like, like, yeah, I'm not sure if that actually demonstrates anything, but, you know, a Disney Store Megara, so, whoop, so I actually really like this Megara, but like I always, I always wonder what I can do with another Megara just because, you know, just because she only wears one outfit in the film, and I don't think I can really extrapolate anything fancy from Megara, so, you know. A Mattel smiling Megara head, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You be a dentist. Yeah. Um, some more doll clothes. Um, yeah. It's very. Yeah. Okay, it's the Mattel Harry Potter clothes. So it's just kind of bundled into that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And a kind of odd looking kind of a 
odd looking 12, 112 scale like action figure body. So, yeah, that's very odd. <laughs> um, yeah, um, this is this, usually I'm really good with my clothing, um, identification, but, oh, okay, this is, I think this is the Yule Ball, um, like, Hermione dress, and this is, yeah, this is, like, a Harry Potter? This has a Harry Potter label on it, but I'm not sure who, who, whose it is, so, you know. You be a dim -dim. Do, 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 um, a baby Moana, so you know <laughs> she is a little chunky, and yeah. Um, and a whole bunch of body parts <laughs> that you know, um, <laughs> that should hopefully help. Was what was one of my projects, you know, <laughs> and of course the uh, one of the very last things at the very bottom, which I'm very happy about, is a Disney store and a Sage doll with the correct face sculpt. I'm very, very, very chuffed about this, just because I like my Anastasia doll that I customized, um, but like. She has the wrong face, so like this, so that always kind of bothered me. So having one with the correct face makes me incredibly happy. So, yeah, you know. So yeah, th there's definitely a lot to go through here. Um, but yeah, so thank you again, Raised by Die Wolves. Um, sorry if this video hasn't been that interesting. I'm just. I've just been a little scatterbrained because like I did just come home from work and I'm probably gonna pass out after this but thank you again so much for all of this generosity um it's definitely overwhelming and I don't know what to really say but again I'm very thankful for your generosity and your kindness and it just makes me incredibly happy um being able to look through all of this so yeah <laughs> If you actually want to see content from me, I do recommend going onto my Instagram. That seems to be where my main um, doll content tends to be nowadays. Um, just because that seems to have really picked up in comparison to like everywhere else. And yeah, like, um, you know, <laughs> do whatever. Like, have a nice day and all that. So, see you around. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. I almost forgot. I almost fucking forgot uh, <laughs> to open up this thing. I know what this is going to be because, you know, because we've had a bit of drama about it, but, you know, um, <laughs> here is an autographed picture of my Little Mermaid collection from Jody Benson, and, you know, I'm very, very, very thankful about it, um, <laughs> I'm assuming there's another picture, um, let me just carefully open this, you'll be a dentist, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I'm just like kind of looking at this. Um, yeah, this is my first time getting something autographed by um, anyone actually. So, again, I'm I'm very happy about this. Thank you so much again. Um, <laughs> oh God, I'm so awkward, but you know, all I can really say is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna carefully put this away until I can get it framed. But yes. <laughs> Okay, see you again for real this time, so <laughs> bye.